Hide your butt. <laughs> I was gonna say, hide your buttholes. We've got a big old Blackhawk butt. <laughs> So we're here at the 50th anniversary of the Sun and Fun event, and I don't think people realize how massive of an event this is. We're here at uh, Lakeland, Florida Airstrip. There is over 200,000 people that visit this place throughout the week. It's insane. It's almost like Coachella for aviation at Florence's. Sun and Fun 2024, let's go. they can have up to four Hellfire missiles on this, which means $144,000 piece just rocketing into somebody, probably a goat farmer or like a kid with a bomb strapped to his chest. So just like Ferrari, 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 Ferrari. That's why the US does have free healthcare. <laughs> So you can see here it says no push, which on a lot of aircraft it means because you'll break it. But on this one, you don't want to push it because it will f***ing kill you. These are the new Bose A30s. They're basically the A20s, but they cost $1,500. They are a lighter weight design, so they basically weigh the same as the A20s. Bose really went with the, uh, the iPhone model, like let's slightly update it and charge people more. <laughs> now the A20s had three noise cancellation modes, but you had to cycle a button three times. Innovatively, they made the switch here. So instead of reaching here, you can reach down here to accomplish the same thing. Actually, the best thing about those aviation headsets are how well it blocks out kit noises on an airplane. It's kind of crazy that they just come out with essentially the same thing and then market it as a brand new product. But I mean, I'm probably gonna buy them anyway. All yeah. right, so here is the Q's OH-6, which the military calls Little Birds. Q's actually became McDonnell Douglas in 1984 when McDonnell Douglas bought Q's. So you'll notice a lot of similarities between these and the MD-500s. The 500s actually added the fifth blade. You'll notice these are four blades, but very similar performance. Great, reliable machine that the military uses all the time. You know the guys, the SWAT team guys, sit on the side, they land on something, hop off, peel out. That's these babies right here. So there's a, I actually just got flagged by the helicopter. Watch your muzzle. So everyone's favorite helicopter, the Sikorsky UH-60, more commonly known as Black Hawk. You can see how popular it is. Look at all these people in front of it. We couldn't get a shot at it all day. There's thousands of planes here. You'll see in the video how many planes we have shots of where there's no people in the way. Can't get a shot of this one because helicopters are so much cooler than airplanes. And you know that, and all you fixed wing pilots know that. So there's two ways you can do your tail rotor free flight on this. Number one is just to stand here, look at it and be like, yeah, this shit looks good. Number two is to get a massive ladder, which who has that? The military can't afford it because of course they're spending all their money on sending it to Israel. But here we have a compromise. These little screw holes, these actually come out and they put in a step. So you can step right up, check your tail rotor for free flight. It's pretty innovative. As part of the US military's diversity, equity, and inclusion program, they decided that tailed individuals were, were left out. So a lot of people think these here are for static discharge, not the case. It's to make people that have tails feel more comfortable in the presence of a military helicopter. There's nothing worse than being stranded in the desert with your helicopter co-pilot buddy and not having a place to relieve yourself. So the Blackhawk helicopter actually incorporates a jacking point here, but you're like, okay, what does my friend do while I'm doing that? Ha, they thought of that too. Two jacking points, two jacking points. You guys can take care of yourselves independently, maybe even each other, and then get back to the mission. Trim, 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 trim. Oh, that means that this is, no, oh, it is hydraulic. And then you got, does it have floats? No floats. It actually doesn't feel that big when you're inside. Another radio from 1940. Some more stuff from 1940. That looks very old. I mean, $60 million basically gets you 
a really fast helicopter with electronics from the 40s, maybe 50s. If you're ultra rich and you want to annoy the f out of your neighbors, but you don't want to waste time getting a pilot's license, this is the vehicle for you. EVTOL, Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing. It's basically a fancy acronym for a human-sized drone. The cool thing about these is they fall in the ultralight category. It's kind of like a Cirrus pilot. You don't really have to learn how to do emergency procedures. You can just pull a parachute, which is great in case grandma wants to take a flight in a helicopter. Like you fly it into shit and it's not gonna mess up that many things. That's the great thing about ultralights. It'll just like take out part of the McDonald's, not the entire McDonald's. It's basically the Ocean Gate concept put a bunch of carbon fiber together and maybe it'll work. Luckily, you're limited to 30 feet, so you're not gonna have to go on an expedition to find anyone on this thing. In all reality, I think the technology for EVTOL vehicles isn't quite there for mass use or, or really efficient travel yet, but I think over the next 10 years, it's gonna become something that we do benefit from in, in society and in aviation. So it's cool to see how the technologies progress from these small size drones to the big size drones. Behind me is the C-17. They say size doesn't matter when it comes to beauty. And the C-17 really demonstrates this. This thing is 174 feet long with a gross weight of up to 170,000 pounds. It can carry 130 or so paratroopers uh, in seats along the side rails. It can carry an Abrams tank. This thing can lift. Massive ships come with massive range. Now this thing, fully loaded out, can travel up to 2,400 nautical miles. And when it's in ferry mode, meaning no cargo, up to 6,000 nautical miles. Insane, 35,000 gallons of jet fuel go off this bad boy to the fuel these big, massive Pratt & Whitney engines. Look at the size of this thing. It's almost like my ego. A lot of people might think I'm here in an amphitheater, but this is actually the cargo bay of the C-17 Globemaster. This thing is freaking huge. I really love this bad boy because on SEAL teams, on Paramount Plus, Bravo 1 Jason hops out the back of these bad boys all the time. Shout out to Paramount Plus for the sponsorship. Hey, I'm Mike Ballant, and I love pretending to be a Navy SEAL on the internet. Not like stealing valor, but like for YouTube videos and Instagram Reels. And that's what I love about Paramount Plus. I get to watch SEAL Team, where those actors also pretend to be Navy SEALs. They're just way better at it than me. And for only $12 a month, you can watch a commercial about getting Paramount Plus before you watch SEAL Team. It's f***ing lit. So you can see on the wing, the US likes to let people know when they fly over, they're US as full. Behind me is the actual F-16 that killed Goose. No, I'm just kidding. But you can tell the F-16 is significantly smaller than the F-35. It's crazy. I didn't realize how much bigger the F-35 is in person, but pretty big difference. And of course, Sun and Fun wouldn't be complete if I didn't go and try to find all the aviation influencers. Oh my God, are you turn that? What's up? What's up, man? Sure, man. Mike, Oh, oh shit, why? <laughs> I was like, what? Oh, you're, you're much easier to recognize in person for the first time. Yeah, no. Everyone makes fun of people that take videos of fireworks because they're never gonna use it. We're gonna use it. You're watching it. You're watching it right now. And that wraps up Sun and Fun 2024 for us. Like spring break in Florida, a couple days is enough. I'm ready to go home. See you guys. You rather fucking filming without me? Ah, what the fuck, Rudolph? No, we're not filming. Well, it sure shit looks like you're filming. I mean, we're filming, Rudolph, but we're not filming anything real like a movie. It's just a commercial. Well, that, I like commercials. I can sell stuff. I love commercials. I want to be in the commercial. Yeah, but you wouldn't like this type of commercial. Uh, oh, yeah, really? Okay, so, so what kind of commercial is it? Well, this is a commercial for a foundation that helps homeless cats that have irritable bowel syndrome. Oh, yeah, that sounds dumb as f I'm out. See ya.